you will not come to me that you might have life. For the life of me, I can't think of one good reason why you wouldn't want to get saved. I can't think of one. I've asked people all over the country, give me a good reason. I've never heard one. But I've heard lots of excuses. And you know the scary thing about the excuses? You may not take God seriously, but God will take you seriously. And if you decide you don't want Christ, you'll go to hell. There will be people in hell because they say, well, I wouldn't want to lose my friends. There are no parties in hell. If you don't lose your friends before you die, you'll lose them all when you die. I had a man say to me one time, he liked his beer and he liked his music. And he, he said to me, as I explained the gospel to him, Look, I'd like to be a Christian, but I don't think I could give up my beer and my music. I said, I've got two things to tell you. First of all, you are going to give up your beer and your music. There are no beer stores in hell. But I said, wait a minute. I went, in, I went into his fridge and I pulled out a bottle of beer and I put it on the end of the table. And I said, all right now. At this end, here's your bottle of beer, and at this end is forgiveness of sins and a home in heaven, and Christ is your Savior, and everything that God has for you. Go ahead. Make your choice. But when you do, I want to tell you God will take you seriously. Now, that's what hell tells us, isn't it? The reality of hell tells us that God takes men seriously. A man chooses not to have Christ and God says, well, I have one place like that in the whole universe. The whole universe will be full of his glory. There'll just be one dark place in all the universe, one black hole. And there will be no Christ in hell. And if you don't want Christ, God says, you're welcome to it. God doesn't say, now, wait a minute. You're not thinking straight. You don't understand the implications here. I'm going to drag you kicking and screaming to heaven anyway. No. If you choose to go to hell, if you choose to perish, you'll perish. Israel said on the border of the promised land, Oh God, why didn't you let us die in the wilderness? God said, I can arrange it. See, this is the frightening thing that God gives you what you want. And if you choose no Christ, he will not inflict himself upon you. He's a perfect gentleman. He said to people one day, you will not come to me that you might have life. You might have life, but you will not come to me that you might have life.